this section we will talk about the IPSLA. IPSLA Service Level Agreement is a great feature on Cisco IOS devices that can be used to measure network performance, guys. This can be something simple like a ping where we check the round trip time or something more advanced like a VoIP RTP packet where we check the delay, jitter and calculate an MOS score that gives you an indication what the voice quality will be like. Measuring network performance is pretty cool. But what makes IPSLA even more powerful is that you combine with it with static routes, policy-based routing, and routing protocols like OSPF or EIGRP. So let's check how we configure the IPSLA. So you can see a topology in here. In our topology, we have router 1, router 2, and the router 3. Router 1 is connected to router 2 and that is the primary link and router 1 is connected to router 3 and that is the secondary link towards the internet. You can see on the screen. Okay. So uh, when we check the configuration of router 1 we can see that router 1 has two default routes. In the first step you can see that. The first default route is pointing to 2222 two, 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 and that is here, that is the router 2. And the second one is pointing to 3333 three, three, three. and that's pointing the here and that's the router 3. But there is a difference in here guys, you can see that the administrative distance for this route is set to 10. So that means the second route is the second link that is not used. Okay, that is only being used once the primary link uh, fails. So this kind of configuration with just two floating static routes partially accomplishes our requirement as it will work only in the scenario where the router's interface is connected to the one link are in up, down or down, down status. But in a lot of situations we see that even though the links remain up, but we are not able to reach the gateway. This usually happens when the issue is at the ISP site. That means what if there's a problem in here or what if there's a problem in here, okay? So in such scenarios guys, IPSLA is the engineer's best friend. With around 6 additional IOS commands, we can have a more reliable automatic failover environment. Using IPSLA, the Cisco IS IOS gets the ability to use ICMP pings to identify when a wider network link goes down at the remote end and hence allows the initi initiation of a backup conf connection from an alternate port. The reliable static routing backup using object tracking feature can, be, can ensure reliable backup in the case of several catastrophic events such as internet circuit failure or peer device failure. IPSLA is configured to ping a target such as a publicly routable IP address or a target inside the corporate network of your next hop IP on the ISP router. Okay, let's check the second step now. The second config defines and starts an IPSLA probe and that is starting with IPSLA1. Okay. The ICMP echo probe sends an ICMP echo packet to next hop IP 2222. You can see it here. And it is being sent each three seconds, guys. As defined by the frequency parameter you can see in here. 
So we have also timeout parameter in here. Timeout sets the amount of time in milliseconds for which the Cisco IOS IP SLA's operation waits for a response from its request packet. So also we have a threshold defined in here. Threshold sets the rising threshold that generates a reaction event and stores history information for the Cisco IOS IP SLA's operation. After defining the IP SLA operation, our next step is to define an object that tracks the SLA probe. So that is the third step. Okay. You can accomplish uh, this object tracking with the commands used in the third step and this command will track the state of the IP SLA operation. If there are no ping responses from the next hop IP, the track will go down and it will come up when the IP SLA operation starts receiving ping response only. The last step is the fourth step in here you can see. So the last step in the IP SLA reliable static route configuration is to add the track statement to the default routes pointing to the ISP routers as shown in here. So you can see in here IP route 00002222 track one okay that's the ip sla prop so uh, the track number keyword and argument combination specifies that the static route will be installed only if the state of the configured track object is up hence if the track status is down, the secondary route will be used to forward all traffic.